Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we will look at the cast of The French Connection and how they have changed over the years. We will also share some exciting facts you probably have never heard of. Let's check it out. William Friedkin directed The French Connection in 1971. Ernest Tidyman adapted Robin Moore's 1969 book which chronicles the narrative of NYPD detectives Jimmy Popeye Doyle and Buddy Cloudy Russo pursuing wealthy French heroine smuggler Elaine Carnier. Gene Hackman plays Popeye, Roy Scheider Cloudy and Fernando Ray Carnier. Marcel Bezoffi and Tony LaBianco co-star. The film received eight Oscar nominations and won five. Best Picture, Best Actor, Hackman, Best Director, Best Film Editing, and Best Adapted Screenplay. It was also nominated for the Best Supporting Actor, Scheider, Best Cinematography, and Best Sound Mixing. Tidyman's script was nominated for a Golden Globe, WGA, and Edgar. 1975's French Connection 2 starred Hackman and Ray. The French Connection was named one of the best American films in 1998 and 2007 by the American Film Institute. The Library of Congress preserved the film as culturally, historically, or aesthetically significant in 2005. Here are some interesting facts about the work of art. Did you know that Scheider, Hackman, Egan, and Grasso patrolled for a month? Hackman was disgusted. He feared being sued for impersonating a cop after helping hold a suspect in a squad car. NYTA cop shot A-lister William Friedkin pushed the German cameraman in a wheelchair to save money and get about without authorization. Gene Hackman enters the subway. As the cameraman leaves his wheelchair to follow Hackman onto the subway, the footage shakes. Cameras and equipment often froze during winter shoots in New York City and Brooklyn. Eddie Egan retired to Hollywood after filming this, reporting and evidence handling mistakes were cited by the NYPD. Egan's trial featured William Friedkin and Roy Scheider. Egan lost his pension arts before retirement, and later the court reversible. Subway conductor Bob Morone, the conductor impersonator, didn't show up, so the transit authority wouldn't let him run a subway train. William Cook drove for the NYCT. Fernando Ray was supposed to be William Friedkin's Belle de Jour actor. Friedkin didn't know Ray was Spanish or didn't speak French until the airport. Friedkin called Ray's hotel, where he stays in the film, and realized he'd confused him with Francisco Rabal. Friedkin considered firing Ray because Rabal didn't speak English. As the automobile is unloaded, the first WTC tower in Manhattan is visible. Al Copeland named his restaurant chain after Popeye Doyle, and Popeye's grew from one restaurant. The major car chase beat Bullen at the time. Friedkin tried to top it into live and die in LA. William Friedkin called the book thick-headed. Roy Scheider thought he'd lost his audition. He was eliminated. William Friedkin drove Gene Hackman to Fury to get him into Jimmy Popeye Doyle's grumpy attitude. Even after a good take, Hackman would sigh and shake his head. Hackman almost stopped filming on the second day. Hackman was cast without auditioning, reading, or screen testing. The heroine stockpile disappeared a year after the film's release. William Friedkin modified the Blu-ray release's color timing, and the film cinematographer termed it as atrocious. William Friedkin was inspired to direct by Howard Hawks' daughter. Hawks called Friedkin's movies lousy. Hawks said, well, Chase, do well. Popeye Cloudy, BNDD, Federal Bureau of Narcotics and Dangerous Drugs, forerunner of the DEA, Agent Bill Muldrig stakes out Sal Boca's Lincoln Continental till 4.10 a.m. They parked Frog One's car for three days in French Connection. Eddie Egan's motto is, Addicts in the cellar, cellars in the attic. Do you pick your feet in Puff Gipsy? William Friedkin said Peter Boyle turned down the role of Popeye Doyle. Before William Friedkin remade Popeye Doyle, Jimmy Breslin played him for three weeks. Breslin was fired because he couldn't drive. In 1970, a round-trip ticket from NYC to DC cost $54. Gene Hackman wanted to emulate James Cagney as Popeye Doyle. 
The picture was almost called Popeye. Friedkin wanted the original title. The Friedkin Connection was later published. William Friedkin was inspired by Z and Breathless. And that's all we have for today. We hope that you liked our video. Thank you for watching and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this.